2018 CDL Air Brakes Endorsement Exam Questions and Answers. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate system to release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. The parking brake applies and releases the parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. The spring brakes used on the chambers in the straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below how many PSI? Correct answer is 20 PSI. Let's read the statement in its entirety. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below 20 PSI. Emergency controlled braking is when you apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. And I, pardon me, in ideal conditions, a truck or bus with air brakes going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? Correct answer is more than 300 feet. Let's read the statement in its entirety. In ideal conditions, a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of more than 300 feet. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. When is it permissible to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? Never. What are slack adjusters? An adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. What is the first thing you should do when low air pressure warning comes on? Stop and safely pardon me, stop and safely park as soon as possible. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tank and cause the brakes to fail. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in the loss of air pressure. If oil and water collect in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could fail. If the spring brakes are on, what should you push? Pardon me, let me just read that again. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? 
Never. Converters dollies built on or after March 1st, 1999, uh, pardon me, 1998. Let me just read that statement again. Converter dollies built on or after March 1st, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have a yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. You should know that your brakes are fading when... You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. To test the air service brakes, you should brake firmly while slowly moving forward. The air compressor governor controls when air is pumped into the air storage tanks. The service brake applies and releases the brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving.